Hello, on the 13th of February 2021, these two men killed a housewife by name Modipola Florencio and her four-year-old son, Peter, for money rituals. These two men are, on the left of the picture, 29-year-old Baoko Ifajui, the witch doctor, and on the right of the picture, 27-year-old Olamide Adolaja, the bricklayer. So guys, let's get into this crime story. It all started on the 14th of February, when Mrs. Modipola Polonisho's husband went to the police and gave a report that his wife went out on the 13th of February 2021 and she did not return home since then with her son. So the police dashed into action for an investigation. And when they investigated everything, it led them to Mr. Olamide Oduloja, a bricklayer. And after so many questioning and interrogation by the police, he confessed that him and Mr. Baoko Ifajuya, the herbalist, had killed Mrs. Modipola Foromosho and her four-year-old son, Peter, for blood money or ritual for money ritual purposes. The Adulodra senior sister had called him to tell him that he should not forget about the end of year celebrations, which their paternal grandmother had organized for them on the 2nd of January 2021. So Mr. Olamide Adulodra discussed with his sister about that. Then he told his sister that, Is there any other person around you that I can greet? After greeting his sister's children, the sister, his, sister's, his sister passed the phone to Modipula for and show a teller. And they talked together for a very long time. And Mrs. Modipula for and show told him that he should call her often. Caron, his sister sent him Mrs. Follow and show's number so that they can talk more frequently. Since as Mrs. Follow and show had told Olamide Adunodja that he should call her frequently so that they could be talking or discussing on the phone. So on the 2nd of January 2021, Mr. Olamide Adunodja decided to go for the end of year celebration which his paternal grandmother had organized. And when he got there, he celebrated with his family. Then he decided to go see an old friend called Wale. And when he went to see his old friend called Wale, he didn't meet his old friend at home, but he met his old friend's younger brother called Baoku Ifajui, a witch doctor. And he greeted Baoku Ifajui, the witch doctor. Then the Baoku Ifajui, the witch doctor, asked Mr. Olamide Oduloja that, how is business doing? He said business isn't doing well. So Mr. Baoku Ifajui, the witch doctor, called Mr. Olamide to come inside the house. He came inside the house, he gave him a white substance to lick and gave him alcohol to drink after licking that white substance. Mr. Olamide Oduloja drank it, drank, licked the white substance and drank the alcohol. Then he told him to go, that business will be well. So when Mr. Olamide went back to his village, to his town where he's from, sorry, you know, Mr. Baoku Ifajiri called him several weeks later and asked him how is business. Mr. Olamide Oduloja said, no, business isn't doing great. So Mr. Baoku Ifajiri, the witch Ifajiri, the witch doctor, called Mr. Olamide to come over at Ibadan so that they can perform some sacrifices and business will start doing well. So Mr. The witch, Mr. Olamide Oduloja told Mr. Baoko Ifajiri that he doesn't have money to pay for transport to come to Ibadan. The witch doctor decided to send him 5,000 Naira. And he took the 5,000 Naira and went to Ibadan. Immediately, he came to the witch doctor's house. The witch doctor took him to a specific room. It was so dark, and the witch doctor shut the door. Then the witch doctor asked him, Who do you have in this place as a friend? He said, the only friend I have here is your brother, Wale. No, the witch doctor said, apart from Wale, my brother, who do you have again as a friend? Then he said, oh, there is a new friend I made when I called my sister, called Mrs. Modipula Pororo Ncho, a teller. So Mr. Baoko Ifajiri, the witch doctor, told, handed the number of Mrs. Modipula Pororo Ncho to the witch doctor. 
Then he said the witch doctor rubbed a whitey substance on his tongue. Then he proceeded to call Mrs. Modipola for a show. And when he called Mrs. Modipola for a show, he told Mrs. Modipola for a show to go to a specific location and that the witch doctor will meet him there. Then Mrs. Modipola for a show took a motorcycle and went where the witch doctor had told him to go to. So she dropped there. And then the witch doctor took a motorcycle along with Olamide and they went to where the witch doctor told Mrs. Forloran Show to drop. <laughs> Mr. Olamide said when he got there, he discovered that Mrs. Forloran Show was there with her four-year-old son called Peter. And immediately the witch doctor told Mrs. Forloran Show to follow him. And with no hesitation, Mrs. Forloran Show started following the witch doctor along with her four-year-old son guys at the, in this in this instance you know the witch doctor already hypnotized this woman and she followed the witch doctor and they went to an undisclosed location where the witch doctor told mrs followers to go down on her knees then told mr olamide to keep hold of the four-year-old son peter and mrs followers did not hesitate or resist she just went down on her knees then Mr. the witch doctor took the machete, chopped off Mrs. Florencio's head, took her head and put in a big pot. Then the young boy of four year, four year old saw how her mother's head has been chopped off. He started shouting and crying. Then the witch doctor took him to along from the hands of Mr. Olamide and chopped off his head too and put both of their heads in a pot then cooked their heads, then took their bodies and drained the blood out of their bodies and put in a pan or something, then proceeded to bury their body parts around the area of the area of around the undisclosed location. That is what Mr. Olamide Adoloja you know, described or narrated to the police. Upon hearing this, the police dashed off to look for the witch doctor by name Baoku Ifajui. And when they got to the witch doctor, they arrested him. The witch doctor then confessed that he wasn't the one who brought up the idea for a blood sacrifice. That Mr. Olamide Adoloja was the one who said, you know, his bricklaying business isn't doing well. He came along, he came to seek his advice then. He told him to give a blood sacrifice. Then Mr. Ol Olamide Adoloja, you know, brought the head and you know the head of the son of mrs follower show and his son to him then they proceeded to cook the head and they drink blood from the body parts and then bury the body part the body part in that on un the un undisclosed location so guys this is pictures of the body part being put in a bag you know by these two men and this is them excavating the already buried body part out of the ground so so guys, this is what this 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 is what which went down in Ibadan Ogon State. So this is it's so shocking, guys. It's so shocking. There is something I just want to tell you guys, you know. Already Mr. the witch doctor Balko Ipaju he had hypnotized that woman, Mrs. Polaron Show. You know, he had hypnotized the woman because if he had not hypnotized the woman, you know, a strange man can be a strange man can be calling you from your phone telling you to from his phone you know telling him telling you to come to an undisclosed location or to a specific spot and already you took your four-year-old son and you went along is that is that normal that's someone who has been hypnotized who has been manipulated spiritually that person is not in his senses anymore so that is what went down in um, Ibadan or Gone State and it is so shocking it's so shocking it's so shocking that this woman had died you know this woman had been killed by these two men for blood rituals i don't know who would tell young boys throughout africa and around the world that killing people for blood ritual does not actually make you wealthy you will never become wealthy and this sort of thing is so sickening guys so I would like for you to guys to share this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and comment and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified 
whenever I get to post a video. So guys, I'd like for you guys to tell me how I presented this story. Was there any mistakes? Did I do it good or did I not do it good in a very well mannered way? You know, I'd like for you guys to tell me at the comment section. Now I love you all, but know Jesus Christ loves you more. So stay safe and be blessed. Bye bye.